Right now, welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Michelle here being joined by our good friend Kim Barry in studio. Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Good yes. to see you. Yes, good to see you guys too. And we always so. touch on interesting subject matter, which yes. really is relevant to a lot of people out there. And this morning we're going to be talking about one uh, that a lot of people really should consider getting involved with. They should, they should. So a lot, of, we know a lot of people, I mean, I've got friends, I'm sure you guys have friends, um, I have relatives that have their own company. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, and whether it's an Etsy company, um, or whether it's... No, what's, it, what's an Etsy company? Oh, you don't know about Etsy? No. Oh, gosh, Lou, I how do you Etsy? not know yeah. about Etsy? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> another segment we okay. need to have. Uh. So if you make crafts or you make, um, you know, cake pops or you, you know, if, if you make things, you, you have what's called an Etsy store. Uh, and so shop. it's a website mm -hmm. yeah, okay. that you can go to. Yes. So you know what this it's is. It's an yes. online shop. It's an online shop. For a lot of okay. small, I buy yeah. a ton of stuff on Etsy. And yes. And I've also set up, so there's a lot of people in Iowa who have Etsy shops. Okay. And so what they're doing is they're working at home and then they get online and they advertise on Etsy and then people place their, their orders. Okay. And so I actually have had a lot of those people come into my office and say, hey, do I need to have an LLC? And so an LLC is a limited liability company. Okay. And my advice is always yes, yes, yes. Regardless of size, so there really isn't a caliber of, you know, of size of business really or if it's just it, a little weekend thing or right. regardless. So, you know, I'll, and I'll just give you a couple of examples. Let's say that you are the cake pop lady. Okay. And so you're making cake pops and maybe somebody wants them for their wedding. And so you make 400 cake pops and you ship them off. And for whatever reason, um, you know, 300 get guests sick. get sick. We've Now we've got claims. Oh, okay. You know, uh, so, you know, or you're ordering somebody needs something mm -hmm. and they need it for a promotional business and they don't you don't get it done in time and now they're suing you for lost profits I mean you know so my job obviously is to think of everything that could go bad because right. that's what I do for a living that's your job that's my job and so if you do not have a limited liability company and you have an Etsy business and something goes wrong those people are going to sue you personally mm -hmm. so your bank account you know anything you have personally is up for grabs anything you've accumulated mm -hmm. accumulated to that exactly point. exactly you know unless you end up declaring bankruptcy so and most people you know don't want they want to try to avoid that because right. of our credit score and everything else and so but if you set up a limited liability company it is the same as basically building a fort or a shield around right. you mm -hmm. so if somebody is going to sue because of the cake pops or or because you know something happened they're going to sue the company because that's who they bought that's who they did the transaction with mm -hmm. you know same thing um, you know a lot of landscapers out there a lot of people who uh, remove snow you know kind of cut grass cut right, grass right. and you know I mean I can tell you I mean did you ruin somebody's landscaping because you were moving snow did you not put down enough salt and now somebody's fallen and they've got a spiral oh, fracture really? okay. I mean you know like I said mm -hmm. I can tell you all sorts of stories because I've seen them and so again if you have a small company doing whatever whether it's you know baking or crafts or you know snow plowing or landscaping or a painting company or you're or you're a contractor I mean you know a lot of times people go out on their own and say hey you know I was doing some painting for a friend I think I'll do it on my own or maybe I'm gonna be break off and I'm gonna have my own roofing company mm -hmm. um, you really do need to set up a limited liability company because that way it protects your your assets so what is uh, what is you responsible for then just whatever you have in your company's exactly. bank account or exactly. or is it all your assets part of that company what what's all involved so it, it just depends on what you've put into the company so for instance like a good example might be uh, somebody who does snow plowing they probably have you know some trucks and maybe some equipment sure that's really going to be it for the assets okay. usually um, because what happens as the owner is as you have profits you take the profits out and you give them to yourself as you know personally mm -hmm. so Anything that is owned by the company then is at risk, um, but your own personal assets, you know, are, uh, totally, are separate. totally, yeah, they're very protected. Now, when you, when you set up this LLC, do you do you need to have a separate account, like a bank account yes. for your company? So if you're, if you're taking money out or taking money in, it goes into that account first? That's an excellent question. And I teach classes um, all the time to business owners and business groups and people who want to start businesses. And I tell them the first step is to set up the LLC. The second step step then is to treat it like it truly is a business. Mm -hmm. So don't use your business account to buy your milk and your Cheerios and your McDonald's and that kind of thing. It needs to be a separate account okay. and you need to take, take it seriously because there is an exception. Let's say that um, that you are my snowplow person mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and somebody on my property 
comes and you were supposed to salt and you forgot to salt and now they've fallen and they've broken their leg. Okay. And so they're going to most likely probably sue me and they're going to sue you. And if you don't have an LLC, um, or let's say you do have an LLC, so they're suing your LLC. Mm -hmm. The first thing the lawyer is going to do is they're going to want to look at your bank accounts, they're going to want to look at your corporate documents because they want to know, is it really an LLC or did you just set it up and it's kind of a sham corporation? Right. In other words, you don't, you don't keep a separate bank account, you co mingle your personal money with your with your business money because um, there is a principle out there called piercing the corporate veil and what that is is that if it's a sham company you're not really treating it like you should mm -hmm. then there's an argument that you should not get those protections really right so it doesn't do you any good to set it up and then be like well I did that part I'm done so um, but it's pretty easy I mean just set up a separate bank account and make sure mm -hmm. that you kind of keep things separate um, the other thing that I hear people say all the time well I you know now I'm gonna have more tax returns you know now I it's gonna be expensive um, an LLC is what we call a pass-through company and so you still are just gonna file one tax return mm -hmm. it's just all gonna go on your personal tax return right so um, you just have to keep good books and hopefully you've got a good accountant or QuickBooks or whatever right. um, then the other thing with regard to the cost of setting it up. I mean, a uh, one person LLC, you know, I think those prices start at like $400, $500. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's really not that expensive. It's uh, an investment in yourself. It really is. And, and it really is. An investment in protection in for you. And yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And you, there's a form you have to fill out every couple of years. Mm -hmm. And what we do in our office is we teach people how to do them, do that themselves. We will say, look, we can do it if you want us to, but mm -hmm. it's going to take you five minutes and we're going to charge you money to do it. And um, so we usually just say to the people, here's the form. Just go on, get online, fill it out. Mm -hmm. And then that's really all you're doing every two years, just, just renewing it. Talk yeah. about people that are kind of switching gears maybe with some of their businesses on a regular, how does that work in right, regards right. to, okay, I'm not doing the landscaping anymore, but I'm going into this. And right, so we always rec recommend two LL, a separate LLC for each business. Okay. I'm working right now with um, a, a son who is buying a father's business and there's actually three different locations and they, each location has its own name. And so his dad, Dad was smart and at least had an LLC for two of them, but not the third one. Mm -hmm. And so the initial thought was, well, we'll just put them all together. And I said, no, 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 no. There's a reason why we have separate LLCs. And that's because if something happens at one store, then only that store is at risk. Okay. A person suing that store can, is only suing that store. They can't sue all of your Got businesses. It. Got it. So you always want to have a separate LLC. Um, and then the other uh, point that I want to make is if you have rental properties, mm -hmm. we also recommend mm -hmm. having an LLC for rental properties. Sometimes people put them all in one, mm -hmm. not what I would recommend, but that's better than not having one. Right. So um, have one for each property. I would recommend property. having one for each property. Really? Because okay. that way then if you if a tenant has an issue, whether it's a dog bite or, or they fall down some stairs. It's just that property. It's just that property that's an issue. Okay, so. yeah, and you know, full disclosure, uh, Kim helped me set up mm -hmm. mine years ago, yeah. and it really is easy to do and peace of mind like you would not believe. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I know uh, the first time you had to renew it, you called and uh, we walked you through it, and mm -hmm. it is. It takes you five minutes. Five minutes and you're done. Yeah. Okay. Well, talk about how people can learn more from you. Sure. And you mentioned your teaching and so forth, too, in addition to maybe coming into your office. Absolutely. I mean, part of our job is to educate people. Mm -hmm. So just give us a call. You can come in and have a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll sit down and talk about what you need. All right, the best of right here, yeah. City View again. <laughs> yeah, five years in a row. Five yeah. years in a row. Good work. Good work. Kim Always Bear. interesting. Thank you so much, Kim. Uh, great to see you again. Yeah. It will Thanks. be.